The Smiling Man is a well-known story posted on Reddit by the user Blue Title. It details an encounter with a creepy, dancing man that crossed the path of a Seattle resident. Based on the account, the author claims that the Smiling Man was a real person. So who was he? Or what was he? Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, who was the Smiling Man? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in those comments a question you have always wanted to know the answer to. For those who have never heard heard of The Smiling Man, here's a brief explanation. The Smiling Man is a true story about a Reddit user who goes by blue title. They used to spend boring nights walking around Seattle thinking. He did this for four years without fear, until one Wednesday night. He was walking by a park. As it was nighttime, no one else was around, until he turned a corner and went down a side street. He saw the silhouette of a man dancing a strange dance toward him. The dance was similar to a waltz, but the man finished each box with a stride. As he got closer, the author could make out a strange, wide smile on his face. His eyes were looking up at the sky. The author felt unnerved so he crossed the street, leaving the smiling man on the other side. But when he looked back, the smiling man had crossed the street with him, but was now slightly crouched down and facing him. He stood for a while until the smiling man started moving toward him, taking long, exaggerated tiptoe steps like a cartoon character. The smiling man began to speed up. He stopped, a car length away, still smiling, still staring up at the sky avoiding eye contact. The author yelled, what do you want? But instead of answering, the smiling man just smiled. Shortly after, he turned around and started to dance walk away, only to turn back around and start running. That's when Blue Title started running as fast as he could to an area that was better lit. When he looked back, the smiling man was gone. Blue Title never went for another walk alone at night again. Spooky, right? It's even better when you read the story or watch the short film 2AM. So who was the smiling man? According to the author, the smiling man was a middle-aged Caucasian man. He had dark hair and he was between 6'2 and 6'5. He was wearing a dark suit, black or charcoal grey, and it looked outdated. He had no facial hair and a slender face. Not handsome, not ugly. He had an intensity to his eyes but never made eye contact. And lastly, he had a wide, ear-to-ear -ear smile glued on his face that seemed almost inhuman. What possible motivation could the smiling man have had for wanting to scare someone else? The author, who doesn't believe in the supernatural, said the smiling man must have been an insane person. But the way he moved around seems somewhat otherworldly. The author also claims to have had several dreams about the smiling man following the encounter, but he believes they are unrelated. Since the original story was posted several years ago, others have come forward with similar tales of encounters with beings that resembled the smiling man. Tall, slender, doing a creepy dance and staring at the sky. And of course, smiling. According to one encounter who got extremely close to him, the smiling man's breath was cold. Ice cold. Maybe he was just a regular dude getting a kick out of scaring people. Maybe he was mentally unstable. Maybe he was under the influence. Maybe we will never know. For now, I'm Charlotte Dobre and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you want to go on an LBQ binge, check out our playlist, Biggest What Ifs, clickable on the screen right now. As always, make sure notifications are turned on by clicking the bell and we'll see you in the next video.